Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, we're going to be covering uh, a preview of the 64-bit Windows 8 uh, that has recently been released for developers. And uh, I want to briefly say that I've used uh, every Windows uh, version uh, since back in the DOS days, and uh, I am understandably curious, so I went ahead and downloaded this and thought I'd pop this in a virtual machine and uh, share with you uh, my uh, feelings on this. Well, after you install it and you set everything up, uh, you are presented with this start screen. Now, there is no drag with the mouse here, but there is a scroll bar that allows you to navigate and uh, see that everything that's in here. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and have a look and see if any of these programs work. Uh, note space looks interesting, like little sticky notes. We have that in Linux. Uh, let's see if it works. Uh, hello? Nothing. Okay. Well, let's uh, see if the alarms feature works. Okay. Looks like they even have a chess game. Checkmate. Ungats on toast, as I say. All right, well, looks like these are just here for cosmetic purposes for the time being. But let's see if um, Tweet works. Okay. How about News? Now, it's funny. I thought I saw a video where these uh, demos were actually working in a presentation. Alright, well, nothing is working there. How about the control panel? Ah, here we go. We got something that's working. Alright, and we have some options where we can uh, change things. We can personalize uh, or customize the, uh, the user tile or the uh, screen. And, uh, okay, that's nice. Um, we can add users. Okay, well, we can do that too in Linux. Um, wireless. Okay, turn uh, wireless and airplane mode on or off. Apparently, this is geared towards uh, tablets and mobile devices. Okay. All right, well, we've had a look at that, and um, now I'm just waiting for the little desktop icon, because I think that's the only way I'm going to get out of the screen. Here we go. Oh, not very friendly at all. Uh, I might be sitting here for 20 minutes trying to bring this icon out so I can... Ah, here we go. All right, good. All right, and um, now we're on the desktop. Let's uh, have a look at the start menu. Ooh. Okay, apparently this is the start menu, the uh, start screen here. Okay. I think I'd much rather uh, have my start menu. Uh, this is Cardapio that I'm using here in Linux, and I like it um, because this is highly customizable, as well as any other uh, menu options that are available. Um, this, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can work with this. So let's go back into our desktop. What if we right-click the Start button? Ah, Properties. Okay. Oh, and it, what it does is it goes to the jump list. I'm assuming that's what those are called. Okay, and we can do things with the taskbar. Okay. Touch keyboards, that sort of thing. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not feeling this, um, but given some time, this may be uh, something really nice for people who want to run Windows on their tablets, that sort of thing, but um, I, I don't see how this would be useful for me. Um, 
and it looks like they've got a like an app store so they're going to be you know doing much the same thing that Android's doing uh, where they have a bunch of little applications that you can download some for free I'm sure mostly uh, will be filling Microsoft's coffers um, I don't know uh, we'll have to give this a little bit more time and uh, uh, but personally I don't see how this is going to benefit me. Well, that's all I have for now. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll pull another topic out of the air for our next show. Take care.